How to make a cow model at home easy in YouTube. Cut up the cardboard tubes. You can start with two empty toilet paper rolls or one empty paper towel roll. If you use the paper towel roll, cut it in half. Refer to each half as a separate roll for the remainder of the instructions. Cut one of the rolls in half. Save one half for use as the cow's head and discard the other half. Cut 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters, off one end of the other roll. This roll will become the body of the cow. Discard the excess 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters. Create ear slits. Using pencil, lightly sketch two ovals onto one end of the headpiece, positioning them on opposite sides of the cylindrical perimeter. These ovals will become ears. Each one should be about one quarter the length of the tube. Carefully cut along three quarters of each oval outline, leaving the innermost end of each oval alone. Fold up the cut portions so that they stick out from the sides of the tube, creating ears. Snip and fold horn slits. Draw two small triangles near one end of the tube, centering them in between both ears. These triangles will become horns. They should be smaller than half the size of one ear. Carefully cut along two edges of each triangle, leaving the innermost edge alone. Fold up the cut portions so that they stick out from the side of the tube, creating horns. Cut out two egg carton sections. Cut two compartments out of an empty egg carton. Discard the rest of the carton. These two sections will become the legs of your cow. One section will form both front legs and the other will form both back legs. Carefully cut out the front and back of both sections, leaving the sides and bottoms intact. Paint everything white. Paint both cardboard tubes and both egg carton sections white. Allow the paint to dry. You should paint both sides of the ear slits, but you do not need to paint the horn slits at this time. Add black spots. Use black paint to add spots to the head and body of the cow. Let the paint dry when finished. To create realistic spots, paint spots with uneven sides. Avoid sharp points, opting for rounded corners instead. Note that you should also space the spots apart in uneven intervals instead of creating patterns or symmetry. Define the ears and horns. Paint a small pink oval in the front side of each ear. Paint both sides of each horn gray. Let the paint dry. The pink in our ear should follow the outline of the ear slit, but you should leave some blank white space around the edge of each center. Attach the eyes. Using craft glue, adhere two googly craft eyes onto the face. Allow the glue to dry completely. Both eyes should lie just in front of the ears along the length of the head. Place each eye in between one horn and one ear along the width, perimeter, of the head. Glue the pieces together. Glue both egg carton pieces onto the same side of the body roll. Glue the head onto the opposite side of the body roll. Turn both carton sections upside down so that the flat bottoms become the tops. Place one section near the front of the body and the other section near the back. With the cow standing on its egg carton feet, Glue the back half of the head onto the top of the body. Stuff the rolls with cotton. Once everything dries, stuff cotton balls into both open cardboard rolls. Use enough cotton to tightly back both rolls. If you pack it tightly enough, you should not need to use glue to hold the cotton in place. Attach the mouth. Cut a small piece of pink pipe cleaner out and glue it to the cotton at the front of the face. The pink pipe cleaner should roughly match the diameter of the cardboard tube. Bend the pipe cleaner into a slight curve to give the cow a smile. Use glue to attach the pipe cleaner to the bottom half of the cotton at the front of the face. Add a tail. Cut a small length of white yarn. Use glue to attach one end to the top of the cardboard body at the back of the cow. The tail should be at least as long as the diameter of the tube, if not a little longer. Observe your work. The cardboard cow is finished and ready to admire. <laughs>